We begin in the United States, where the confirmation of Amy Comey Barrett to the Supreme Court has given this key political institution a conservative majority for years to come. The Senate approving her nomination by 52 votes to 48. Her appointment was opposed by congressional Democrats. We'll have some analysis after this report. After a month in the spotlight, she finally got to say these words. So help me God. Judge Amy Coney Barrett is heading to the US Supreme Court. It's a privilege to be asked to serve my country in this office, and I stand here tonight truly honored and humbled. President Donald Trump was on hand to celebrate one of his signature achievements, locking in a conservative majority on the Supreme Court for many years to come. This is a momentous day for America, for the United States Constitution, and for the fair and impartial rule of law. Tony Barrett took her oath at the White House only an hour after the Senate narrowly voted to secure her nomination, with only one Republican not supporting the motion. Democrats strongly opposed the confirmation, saying a Supreme Court justice shouldn't be appointed this close to an election. Let the record show that tonight the Republican Senate majority decided to thwart the will of the people and confirm a lifetime appointment to the Supreme Court in the middle of a presidential election. Opponents of Coney Barrett's nomination say it paves the way for conservative rulings on abortion rights, health care and LGBTIQ rights. Coney Barrett vowed that she will remain independent. The oath that I have solemnly taken tonight means at its core that I will do my job without any fear or favor, and that I will do so independently of both the political branches and of my own preferences. She'll take the second of her two oaths on Tuesday at a private ceremony, which will allow her to begin official duties on the court. Let's get more on this key appointment now with Boris Foreman, a professor of political science at Bard College here in Berlin. Good to see you again, Professor. Um, how much does Amy Coney Barrett's confirmation reshape this crucial institution, the U.S. Supreme Court? I mean, it is a, it is an important moment, and uh, this is a six to three uh, conservative majority on the Supreme Court. This is quite an imbalance, and uh, this will shape major issues. And there are important questions coming up just around the corner. Uh, one of them being about the presidential election. So this is uh, certainly an important uh, moment. Yeah, con considering that this Supreme Court could rule on the presidential election uh, if there's difficulties, especially with the mail, uh, the mail count is, is something a lot of people are talking about. Do you see that as a possibility? Well, uh, just just yesterday, the uh, Supreme Court already rejected the uh, the um, uh, the desire to extend the the mail-in ballots for Wisconsin. Similar decisions are just coming up about uh, North Carolina and Pennsylvania. So there is already an important debate going on, and obviously, people are thinking about 2000, uh, about um, uh, Florida uh, Bush versus Gore, and the Supreme Court decision to back uh, George W. Bush at the time. And similar things might be coming up since this. This is a very content, contentious election, and uh, the, the Supreme Court might have to step in. That has a lot of people very concerned. The country was, of course, bitterly divided over uh, this nomination and the issues that the new Supreme Court justice is set to rule on, like public health care. Um, that's another issue coming up. You mentioned the election could be won. Um, do you see Barrett putting her stamp on things from the very beginning, beginning with, for example, health care? This is very contentious, and the Democrats have been emphasizing that 20 millions might be left uninsured if the Affordable Care Act was uh, to be ruled un unconstitutional. Um, however, I mean, the Supreme Court has already ruled on it twice and has upheld its uh, constitutionality. Um, so whether Barrett is actually going to tip the scale here is not entirely clear. Also, one thing we shouldn't forget is that oftentimes conservative uh, members of the Supreme Court think also of Gorsuch or Kavanaugh, who have also been heavily criticized. 
do tend to become more liberal in the specific institutional context of the Supreme Court. So this is something that might also happen with Amy Coney Barrett. The Democrats have been saying one way uh, to address some of the concerns you've stated is to expand the size of the court. Do you see them actually pushing that? Mm -hmm. Well, Biden has been very hesitant on doing this. And I think there is some danger in, in doing this because uh, it would politicize an institution that is supposed to be uh, bipartisan or impartial, rather. Um, and so Biden has rejected to come to any clear conclusion. He said he would um, he would hold a panel of, of scholars to, to come up with a decision or a, a question. I think it, it depends also a lot on the framing. Is this uh, something that is done in order to uh, rebalance the Supreme Court after the Republicans' uh, contradictory uh, process, of, of self-contradictory process, really, of nominating Amy mm. Coney Barrett. So um, I think it depends on the framing. Uh, I think okay. that Biden will try to do this only in the, in the, uh, if, if, if uh, push comes to shove. Professor Boris Foreman from Bard College, thanks so very much. Thanks.